India landing on the moon's south pole, and why exactly the south pole? In a cosmic clash of nations, India has boldly joined the elite lunar league, following in the footsteps of giants like the USA, Russia, and China. August 23, 2023, etched a resounding triumph in history books, as the Indian Space Research Organization, or the ISRO, achieved the unthinkable, landing on the moon's desolate surface. Yet, this lunar conquest carries an unparalleled twist. India has ventured where none have dared before, delving deep into the uncharted territories of the moon's south pole. Buckle up as we unveil the secrets behind India's audacious lunar journey and why the enigmatic south pole beckoned. So sit back, relax, and get ready. Be sure not to miss any detail. This is a story you won't want to miss. Now, let's journey back in time to the iconic Apollo mission of 1969, when man first set foot on the moon. Since then, several nations have honed their skills in lunar exploration, opting to send robots to scrutinize the moon's enigmatic surface. Yet, here's the catch. None of these missions dared to venture near the elusive South Pole. But why this persistent avoidance? What could be lurking in the shadowy secrets of the South Pole that gave even the boldest explorers a case of the jitters? Before we delve deeper, we must catch a glimpse of the sheer complexity of a moon landing. Recent events have underscored the tremendous challenges involved in these high-stakes missions. Just days before Chandrayaan-3's audacious landing attempt, Russia's Luna 25 lander experienced a heart-wrenching disaster. An engine malfunction prevented a safe shutdown, leading to a catastrophic impact on the moon's surface. But that's not all. The challenges are global. In April of the same year, a collaboration between Japanese company iSpace and the United Arab Emirates ended in tragedy. Their lunar lander carrying a rover met a disastrous fate. A miscalculation in altitude and the exhaustion of fuel sealed its lunar fate. India, too, had its share of heartbreak. In September 2019, the nation's inaugural moon landing mission took a heartbreaking turn as their craft tragically crashed. These setbacks are stark reminders of the struggles that lurk beyond our planet. They demonstrate the relentless pursuit of knowledge, the bravery of explorers, and the profound significance of the Chandrayaan-3's triumphant landing on the moon's enigmatic South Pole. The mission to deliver Chandrayaan-3 safely to the moon's surface was a scientific endeavor and a statement to the world. It was India's way of announcing its prowess in space technology to the global stage. Kalpana Kalahasti, the associate project director of this remarkable mission, captures the relentless dedication of the team when she stated, From the day we started rebuilding our spacecraft after the Chandrayaan-2 experience, it has been breathe in, breathe out Chandrayaan-3 for our team. The celebrations continued to soar in India, as the dawn of a new day brought an even more astonishing revelation. As the sun illuminated the lunar surface, a small rover named Pragyan gracefully descended from the lander, taking India's first ever steps on the moon. Pragyan, a name that embodies wisdom in the ancient language of Sanskrit, and its lunar partner Vikram, named after the visionary Indian scientist Vikram Sarabhai embarked on a scientific journey that lasted approximately two weeks. During this time, they tirelessly gathered invaluable data, unraveling the mysteries of the moon's unexplored South Pole. However, as the lunar days turned to nights, an ominous challenge loomed on the horizon. The moon plunged into a relentless two-week-long lunar night, casting a shadow of uncertainty over Pragyan and Vikram. These intrepid spacecraft reliant on solar power faced an existential threat in the frigid darkness of the moon. With its eerie beauty, the moon dances to a celestial rhythm vastly different from our terrestrial home. While on Earth, we experience the regular ebb and flow of day and night, this cosmic ballet unfolds much more leisurely on the moon. In many lunar regions, a single day and night cycle stretches a mind-boggling 28 Earth days, starkly contrasting to our 24-hour cycle. The mystery deepens when we venture to the lunar south pole. Here, the sun never dips below the horizon. 
Instead, it traces a slow, meandering path along the lunar skyline. This unique phenomenon casts perpetual shadows, transforming some parts of the cratered lunar landscape into realms of unending darkness. Within these shadowy enclaves, cloaked in perpetual darkness and among the coldest domains in our solar system, lie secrets that have roused the curiosity of scientists and space explorers alike. These pockets are believed to harbor a precious treasure trove of substances, named volatiles, compounds that would metamorphose into gas in the presence of sunlight. Among these elusive volatiles, the most tempting prize of all is H2O, the essence of life. However, on the moon, this H2O exists in a state comparable to ancient cryogenics, trapped in a solid, icy embrace. The lunar temperatures here plummet to a mind-boggling absolute zero, a realm where matter becomes an unyielding, frozen relic of time. Chandrayaan 3's daring descent took it to a latitude of approximately 69 degrees south, a remarkable achievement that positioned it closer to the lunar south pole than any spacecraft had ventured before. To put this into perspective, on our own planet, this location would be roughly compared to the remote outer coasts of Antarctica, where only the most intrepid explorers dare to tread. However, it's essential to note that even at this significant latitude, Chandrayaan-3 remained a considerable distance from the moon's absolute south pole, which is 90 degrees south. Yet, this deviation from the lunar pole doesn't diminish the importance of this mission. In fact, it offers a unique vantage point where Chandrayaan-3 could explore previously uncharted lunar territory and in doing so, shed light on mysteries that have eluded us for centuries. David Kring, a distinguished planetary scientist at the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston, Texas, talked about the profound significance of Chandrayaan 3's mission with these words. If water ice is present in quantities and in a distributed state that is recoverable, that would be valuable. The value he speaks of extends far beyond the lunar landscape and into the depths of space exploration. First and foremost, water is a lifeline for astronauts. Its presence on the moon would provide a critical consumable, alleviating the need to transport massive water supplies from Earth. But that's not all. Water is a formidable protector against the relentless onslaught of space radiation, offering a protective shield for future lunar missions and potentially revolutionizing the safety of astronauts working beyond our planet's protective atmosphere. Picture a future where astronauts can produce their own rocket fuel on the lunar surface, where water is not just a precious resource, but a lifeline. The implications are staggering. Suppose these water reserves at the lunar south pole are substantial enough. In that case, they can sustain life for extended missions into the cosmos opening the door to unprecedented possibilities in space exploration. Once shrouded in mystery, the lunar south pole has now emerged as a pivotal hub for humanity's journey into the stars. It's a place where science, technology, and human determination converge to pave the way for a future where astronauts become self-sufficient and lunar resources become our allies in the uncharted frontier of space. As the lunar night envelops Chandrayaan-3, both the rover and the lander have accomplished their most important mission, a safe landing and deployment. This monumental achievement paved the way for the torch to be passed to future lunar explorations. In the coming years, India could potentially revisit the moon's enigmatic south pole in collaboration with Japan, promising even more extraordinary discoveries and scientific breakthroughs. Meanwhile, Japan's JAXA is wasting no time in its lunar pursuits. The slim lander, standing at a towering eight feet tall, is already on its way to orbit the moon. This advanced craft is equipped with cutting-edge image recognition technology, enabling it to pinpoint landing sites with remarkable precision. During its final descent, a sophisticated radar system will guide it to a landing zone within 100 meters of its target. In contrast, Chandrayaan-3's landing zone was an ellipse, spanning roughly four kilometers. This precision landing capability is a crucial step for future lunar missions, especially when exploring the shadowy depths of craters and rugged slopes at the lunar south pole. 
where perpetual darkness conceals potential reservoirs of water. Chandrayaan 3's triumphant landing at the moon's south pole stands as a beacon, inspiring others to follow suit to establish a human outpost on the moon. The future of lunar exploration has never looked brighter. India's bold step forward is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human exploration and discovery. That's a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed watching, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more thrilling content, and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for joining us on this lunar journey, and see you next time.